In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your rough build plate adhesion settings in Cura to use it as a bottom layer pattern of your print. I don't know about you guys, but I personally really admire behind this algorithm of the rough settings. It not only helps you to increase your build plate adhesion, but it also looks super cool. Look at this. How beautiful is it? So, why should we try to implement it to be our bottom layer pattern? And first let's talk about the raft itself when enabled as stock settings. Here's the raft. Come on, Autococcus. Uh, the first main issue is that you can rip the raft off. Like this. And the second issue that we need to get rid out of this margin, unnecessary margin that stands out of our print. And it's honestly easy things to fix. Let's jump into the Cura and I'm gonna show you something. To merge rough to the model, we need to set this air gap settings to zero. This way the raft will be melted to the bottom forever and ever. And to get rid of unnecessary margin, we also need to set these settings to 0 too. Now, if we're gonna print it, we got this result. And everything worked as expected. The only things that I am not really satisfied with is these little bubbles on the bottom layers. So they look not really pleasant and dirty. And if we take a closer look, we can see that they appear on the top wrapped layers. And according to the slicer preview, I know that this imperfection is caused by this one line in the raft algorithm. But lucky for us, we can achieve the desired result by only using two layers of the raft settings. That being said, let's turn the top raft layers off. I also play it with the line white and spacing on the second layer to decrease the number of these blobs. And if your model has some complex geometry or holes in it, you may try to set the raft smoothness to zero. In this case, I will leave it as it is. And here's the final result. Look at this. Interesting and accurate layer pattern without any unnecessary blobs. Looks how clean the first layers lay down here. So when and where to use this technique is always up to you, but in my personal opinion it works best with bases like this. But who knows where else we can use it. Share your thoughts in the comments. By the way, you can get this free model and the link down below and I will be happy to see your prints. That is it for now and I hope to see you soon in the later videos. Peace. Little disclaimer, all the settings were made in Cura version 4.13. That is the version I recommend you to use when you are mainly printing with the vase mode. Also, I used a 1mm nozzle. But I strongly believe that you can achieve a similar result with any side of the nozzle.